Hello and welcome to Robot Framework Tutorial. So in the previous tutorial we have seen how to create the project and then the basic structure or the folder structure that will be following in the robot framework automation. So now I have changed the structure a little bit as you can see that I have organized my tests into the tests folder and as per the product. So for example I want to test two different products Google and Salesforce. So I have organized the test cases for the product which is um, Google and below the Google I have organized them into different test suites and this gives me an opportunity to segregate the test cases which are functional regression or uh, which can be grouped into uh, a specific folder and share the common uh, details or common properties so this will give you a bit of uh, clarity and will also provide you ease in maintaining the test cases the structure uh, if you follow the proper structure in the robot framework so now let's get ahead and started uh, start with the first script in the robot framework so to start with the first script i'll just create uh, the new file so just click on new and click on file and i'll say just google search and just mention dot robot frame uh, dot robot extension and hit enter and the as soon as you mention the dot robot um, extension it will detect that it's a robot file and you will be able to start with the automation right so now in the robot framework when you create the file so there are key sections of the robot dot robot file the first section is the setting section section so if you just start with um, three dots uh, three stars and then space and start typing settings it will automatically detect it and enter it will provide the setting so it takes these uh, asterisks again so which is a defect in PyCharm but you need to just remove these three asterisks so similarly the next section that we'll be discussing is the variables so we'll just say variables remove three stars here okay and the next section is the test cases so we'll mention test cases and the next section is the keywords all right and i'll remove these stars so whenever you are writing your robot test case these are the sections that you'll be most of the time utilizing in your dot robot test file and i'll explain you what all information goes into these sections here so setting section of the dot robot file you can provide the documentation so any sort of documentation for example what uh, this test case is all about okay so that you can provide and we'll take all these examples in the later tutorial so don't worry about the details if you want if you are not able to uh, pick up or understand few of the things that I'm explaining in this tutorial now the next thing that goes into settings is library so any library that you want to import say for example selenium library right so we'll say selenium library and that import is basically what is done in settings as well so documentation library uh, apart from library if you have the def uh, keyword defined in another file and you want to import the resource so for example you want to import a resource then you can define the resource as well apart from resources test case setup and test case teardown methods and test suite setup and test suite teardown uh, keywords can also be defined in the settings section now the next section is the variable section where you define any variable that you'll be utilizing in your script now i'll cover the variables in a lot more detail in later tutorial now the test case section is pretty self-explanatory wherein you define the documentation for your test case say for example 
I want to test the Google search functionality. You want to specify some documentation. So you provide the documentation in the test case section, as well as you will write the actual script or the test case steps below the test case section. Now, the last section is optional and it's basically most of the time you will be moving it to the separate file altogether or dot robot file. If you are defining your own keywords, and then you will you won't use this section here in this particular file you will be most probably creating another file for the keywords and then you importing that file as part of the resource import okay so these are the four key sections of the file in the next tutorial i'll explain a bit more about the scripting and how you can start writing your first script with robot framework so hope you like the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.